Now let's move on to uh, some other news. National Security Advisor Ajit Doval and his Chinese counterpart, State Councillor, holding uh, the next round of formal talks on the boundary issue that's happening today. And this comes almost four months after the 73-day-long military standoff at the Doklam Plateau in the Tri-Junction region. Now, in the 20th round of special representative talk, uh, they are expected to uh, discuss ways to maintain peace and tranquility along the 4,000-kilometer-long border. Now, we are joined for more on this by our uh, correspondent, Six Nikta Basu, Snigda, what exactly would they be discussing? Because we had heard a couple of days back the uh, chief, uh, uh, the Minister of External Affairs coming and playing down this issue a little bit uh, publicly. So, uh, what exactly do we expect from these talks? That's right, Anjali. The Ministry of External Affairs um, and the Foreign Minister Wang Yi from China had met a couple of days ago. However, the issue of Doklam still re remains to be an unresolved one. Um, you know, the 20th round of India-China talks, as you rightly said, is currently underway at the Hyderabad House. Uh, both the NSA's Doval as well as Chinese counterpart JG are going to be, of course, discussing Doklam. And this is the first time that they will be engaging in official talks since the four-month-long Doklam issue. They, however, did meet on the sidelines of the BRICS summit in Xiamen in September, but this is the first time that both the NSAs are face-to-face -face in that boardroom and discussing the unresolved um, issue. But both sides will actually look forward from the Doklam issue and just find a way to avoid such a confrontation happening again. Um, you know, both of them re uh, really realize what is at stake and both of them will seek solutions to the unresolved boundary issue. We will, however, have to wait till the end of the day. It is a day-long engagement to find out exactly what the talks entailed. But the current series of negotiations are critical because, you know, there are hopes for a long-term resolution for the border dispute that's currently underway in the Doklam Plateau. But both sides will largely look at uh, how to continue the bilateral diplomatic relationships in a nicer and a peaceful manner. Right. Thanks for all that information, Snegda. We'll keep an eye on these talks.